Hello everyone. Long time no see. I know it's been a while. She's been recovering from the virus. <laughs> but I'm back. Um, better than ever and I'm so excited for the video today. I've seen quite a few people do this before so you know not my idea but I've wanted to do it for ages and I just haven't and that is recreating Pinterest outfits. I'm a big lover of Pinterest I have for years and I always see these girls on Pinterest with really great outfits. I want the style that these girls have but currently I don't know how to get there. So to try and help me, I'm just going to choose a couple outfits and try and recreate them using my own things. Before we get into it, I just wanna say a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I'm sure you know who they are already, but if you don't, Skillshare is a creative learning platform where you can go to really develop your creative side. There's loads of things that you can do, like learn about art, photography, filming, editing. But the one that I've been doing recently is called Instagram worthy photography because I need to step up my game on Instagram and the guy who runs it called Brandon Wolf He's got such a cool Instagram. So to be able to learn from him We love but lucky for you for a limited amount of time There's gonna be a link in my description where you can get a free trial on Skillshare premium So you get access to literally everything on the website and then after that it only costs less than $10 a month if you get the annual subscription So yeah, check out Skillshare if you want to learn some creative things in a really fun way. Okay, Let's get going. Okay, so here's what I'm going for. Just really simple, a sweatshirt and a collar peeping out the top. It's very Brandy Melville, but you know, I can't really fit into their clothes. So I'm just gonna make it with whatever I've got. Here's the first outfit. Not gonna lie, I love it. I've done the collar thing maybe like once before, but I've always been too scared to actually wear it outside of my house. But you know what? I'm feeling a bit more confident in this. Who knows? You might see me outside like this. I feel like this is perfect for winter and autumn that's coming up. And I've just got some black Converse on because I think that kind of completes it really nicely. This little Ralph Lauren shirt, this jumper, these trousers and my black Converse. I got them all on Depop. So I'm sorry they're not from like a place where you can buy the exact same thing, but Depop and eBay, they both have loads of sellers that sell the exact same stuff as this. So yeah, you can definitely recreate this look as well. I feel so cute. Okay, so I feel like I did kind of perfect on this one granted it is really easy but i'm still gonna give myself a 10 out of 10 because i would definitely wear this out and i think i match the outfit really well on to the next outfit this next outfit is very popular right now it's a sweater vest over a white t-shirt and just some trousers not gonna lie I feel really cool in this. In one of the pictures, the girl was wearing some white Nike Air Forces. If I wear those with these trousers, the trousers kind of drag on the floor because I'm not that tall. So I've had to put on my vegan docks. The thing is, with these outfits, I don't feel like I can wear them where I live because I live in a kind of small town. So if you wear crazy outfits, people just stare at you. And I know I shouldn't care, but I do. <laughs> so these trousers, I think I got them on Depop, but they're originally ASOS. This little sweater vest I got from Depop, but wait a sec. It originally came as a jumper, but it was too small for me. The sleeves came up to like here on me. So I chopped them off. <laughs> um, and now it's a sweater vest. I'm so glad I did this. Like, I think it looks better than even if it was like a normal jumper. And this little t-shirt I got from Urban Outfitters before I stopped buying from them. I'm gonna give myself a nine out of 10 for this because I don't think I've got the right accessories to finish it off, like the sunglasses. And I also want one of those tiny little mini bags. But yeah, otherwise I can't wait to wear this. Let me know how you think I did on this one. I took my main inspiration from the first girl, Ruby Lynn, because she's kind of my style icon right now. But yeah, it's just a black mini skirt with those low Doc Martens and also either a shirt or a cardigan. Um. I'm not sure I like this one. It's a bit more revealing than I usually do. So that's probably why. I don't have a checkered shirt like Ruby does. I've got black skirt with the slit I got from Depop. I'll try and like link everything below if I can. I know the girl definitely makes these and then sends them to people. So you can definitely buy one as well. This top, 
is originally from Zara, but I got it on Depop. This I got in Amsterdam from like a thrift shop called Episode. And I'm also wearing my new Doc Martens that I also got on Depop. Even though these are leather Doc Martens, I'm kind of fine with buying them because I didn't buy them firsthand. I'm not sure how I feel about it just because I'm not that confident with my legs. I also haven't shaved in ages, so. <laughs> I don't think I could wear this out. What do you think? Should I ever wear this out? I think I'd be a little bit more comfortable if I were to wear some tights as well. So I tried it with some tights and I think it looked better in person. It looks a bit weird on camera, but it did make me feel more confident with my legs. And then I also tried it with a blue button up shirt just because I wanted to try a bit more color. But then I changed my top to a white one underneath and I don't really know how I feel about it, to be honest. Let me know in the comments if you like any of these versions because I really cannot choose. <laughs> This one's getting a six out of 10 because yes, I did have all of the things and like I styled it exactly the same as her. I just don't think it suits me. I don't think I can pull it off and I'm a little bit too scared to wear it anywhere. You tell me. Ruby wears this better than I do. So let's get on to the next outfit. Next up, we've got the classic slash really basic lace cami top with low waisted jeans. This should be really easy to do. Okay, so here's the next little outfit the jeans that i was wearing earlier instead of having them like up by my waist i pulled them down a bit apparently that's the style right now and i'm not sure how i feel about it because low waisted means tummies out and once again a little bit insecure about me tum tum if you're scared, you can cover it up. In the Pinterest outfits, you see the girls wearing these little cami tops and almost every single one of them has a lace detail. I've actually seen this exact one all over Pinterest. So I found this on Depop. I'm pretty sure I got this hoodie on Beyond Retro, but it's just a massive navy hoodie. Oh, and these are Levi's by the way. I like this. It's pretty simple, but still looks cute. I've put on some green converse and then i thought i'd try another couple versions because i'd seen leopard print trousers on pinterest very y2k vibe but also i've seen a lot of brown on brown i've never done that before i thought because my hair's brown i can't really wear brown as well because it would just be really boring but i actually quite like this look and i just kept my converse throughout because i think they added like a nice pop of color this one's getting a 10 out of 10 too because I think I matched it really well and I also think I would wear this in loads of different ways. Yeah, it's just a really easy outfit. That looks cool. The inspiration for this outfit comes from, I think like the Scandinavian girls. It's basically just gray sweatpants, a little cardigan, but it has to be like a pastel color. And of course you have to finish it off with some white dad trainers. Here's the next outfit. This is like super basic and I don't think I like it. The girls that I copied are all over Pinterest and Instagram and I really like their kind of really relaxed look but I just I don't think it looks great on me. I've got my Nike Air Force Ones on because they're the only like white trainers that I have. I say white they're really dirty. I don't know I don't think I would wear this out. Once again Depop Depot. I don't love it. That's it. It's very comfy though. I've just tried a different version of what I just did. I saw another grey tracksuit bottoms combo on Pinterest and I like this a lot more. It's very like streetwear. This is just the Disney jumper that I was wearing from earlier. This... <laughs> Once again, I got on Depop. I know you're probably sick of me saying that. Not gonna lie, I like this. This is comfy. This one's getting a nine out of 10 because I didn't like the first version so much that I didn't actually take a picture in it, but I really like the second one and I would definitely wear this out. Time for the super popular schoolgirl look, which is literally just a pleated skirt and an argyle patterned sweatshirt or jumper and also a collar peeping out the top. All of the school memories are flooding back right now. First of all, I am so pale. You would have thought it was just summer and so I should have a bit of a tan, but <laughs> no, 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 I don't tan. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like this, even though it reminds me of being at school. Um, trauma. Once again, Depop, Depop, Depop. I'm so annoying, I'm sorry. I feel like I've nailed this one. A little pleated skirt, an argyle jumper. I've got my Ralph Lauren little 
collared white shirt and my little Doc Martens. And this makes me feel really cute and pretty and I don't usually feel that way. So, yay. However, once again, I don't think I'm confident enough to wear this in my town. However, I'm still gonna rate this a nine because I did get it perfect and it makes me feel really cute. I just have to work up the courage to wear it outside of my bedroom. Lastly is the exposed seam trend. I've seen this a lot and I definitely want to get more of these types of tops because I just think they're really cool. I've got my mesh top on, which has got like the exposed seam at the front, which is all over Pinterest right now. And I think I like this outfit. I haven't worn this top before because I haven't really known how to wear it, but I saw all of the girls wearing these types of tops with like baggy trousers and kind of like a cool belt so that's what i've done and i've also got my boots on and underneath this mesh top i've got just like a normal vest top because you know it's see-through and i don't want anyone to see my boobies and yeah i've just got gold jewelry on because i think that matches like the kind of neutral tones of the whole outfit um yeah i like this one too guys why have I not been using Pinterest to make my outfits before? It's so easy. <laughs> I usually struggle so hard to make outfits, so much so that I always end up wearing the same thing. But yeah, finally Pinterest has helped me like actually make some new outfits. I just need the confidence to actually wear them. You can probably guess where I bought everything, so I'm just not gonna say it again. I love this outfit. And the last one is getting a nine out of 10 because I don't have any cool accessories that match this outfit, but I did make a similar outfit to all the girls on Pinterest. So yeah, finish on a high. So those were all of the outfits that I recreated from Pinterest. I found it really, really fun and actually really useful. So thank you to all those Pinterest girls who do all of the hard work and then I just get to copy them. Before I leave, if any of you actually care, I've started to use TikTok now. I know, what? Who would have thought? And I just made a TikTok out of all of these outfits just now. If you wanna have like sneak peeks into my videos in the future, then go follow my TikTok. It's always in my description box. Let's just be stupid and have fun over there. Honestly, that's what it's for, isn't it? Thank you all so much for my well wishes of getting better from COVID. I'm fine now. So hopefully we can get back to making lots of videos. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check the link in my description if you want a free trial. Love you all so much. Bye-bye.